So obviously Labour have managed to maintain their um, 27 seats. Yes, I think council. it's a fantastic result against uh, you know what people have said is a difficult national background. Uh, here in Lincoln, we've um, maintained our, our position and fought off uh, any challenge from any quarter, and I think that's a testimony to you know the good things that I think the Labour Council have been doing. Absolutely. And how do you feel? Ah, I feel very pleased. Absolutely. And tired. Yes, I can imagine. <laughs> and so, no UKIP councillors, no Greens, no, no Lib Dems. No. Do you think it's apathy, or do you think people have just got more confidence in the major parties? Well, um, it's interesting to see some of the Green votes. I think they've gained some ground. There's no doubt there, but. Um, uh, not, not you know, to, to an extent that would threaten the, the position uh, that that we occupy. Remember that elections aren't won in the few weeks before elections. We've built up a strong political base in the city. We work hard all the year round. We're engaged with our communities, and I think that does count for something. Absolutely. And how do you think Lincoln's managed to stay red when it's surrounded by so much blue in the county? Well, that's a good question, isn't it? I mean, we, we, we did have a Labour Liberal Democrat administration on the county council, of course, back in between 93 and 97. It's not impossible to imagine a, 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 an other than blue uh, county, but generally it's conservative. Um, we get on pretty well with our conservative neighbours. We, we have to. We're, pra we're practical politicians, so um, we intend to go on doing the good things that we're doing in Lincoln and uh, making sure that Lincoln stays Labour. Rick Metcalf, thank you very much. Thank you.